Carnival Cruise Line ship has propulsion problems, lots of Royal Caribbean updates, and Norwegian has moved people's rooms a day before their sailing. Find out all about that news next. Hi guys, it's your best here, and this is this week's cruise news. Just before we get into the news this week, I hope you guys are enjoying all the content I bring you guys from Icon of the Seas. Currently, my ship tours out. You do not know the struggle I went to having that ship tour. That's why I missed that, that news that week because my literally my computer was having an absolute meltdown about me trying to post that video. Oh my god! Basically, I would do like every two minutes, and it would crash. I have to reboot it, reload it, put two minutes in, crash, reload, reboot it. Oh my god! It was it was pain, but it's it's now it's out there. I don't have to do that ever again. Um, it was it was awful. Um, I'm looking to upgrade my computer, I don't think it can handle it. Especially because I'm going to be doing another, another ship tour at the end of the month and I don't want to go into having to have another version of what I was going through. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going on World Europa at the end of the month and I'll be filming a ship tour on there. So yeah, my, my ship tour's out, my um, room tours are out, I also did a room tour on the law and independence recently. If you want to check those out, they're all on my channel. Um, I've been doing my vlogs as well, so another vlog will be coming on Friday. Uh, and yeah, like I said, at the end of the month on MSC World Europa, I'm on there for two nights, so it's a it's a dash around the ship to try and film as much as I can. Uh, but I'm gonna hopefully do a whole ship tour and do my room tour. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a stretch, two nights, um, and there's and there's an Arsenal game on as well. So um, that's two hours where I won't be able to do anything. Uh, so um, yeah, it'd be really interesting to um, see that ship and see what their type of low waist class is. So yeah, that, that's all that's going on. I hope you guys are enjoying the content and now let's get into the news this week. Carnival Cruise Line's ship is having propulsion problems again and guess what? It's Carnival Vista. No way. It's literally like this ship, this ship has never not had propulsion problems. It's actually crazy. I can't remember. I was I was trying to find the news but I couldn't. It's um This happened literally like two, three months ago and then they fixed it. And then the uh, guests received a letter that they're going to be coming in to Port Canaveral late on the 13th, so tomorrow around 10am, when they should have been there around like 7 or 8, I think, I, I think I was reading there. Um, so, yeah, it's, um, but it's, it's crazy, it's the same ship with the same problem, month after month after month after month after month, month, since it's come out, which is quite crazy. Um, yeah, I don't know what a carnival can do about it. They can't unless they go into Stroud and just replace the whole thing. But then that probably costs a lot of money. Um, I have no idea, but it's just it's having it again. It's, it's qu quite crazy, really. Um, so yeah, Carnival Vista is having propulsion problems. We don't know how long it's going to go on for, and they haven't edited or changed any itineraries just yet. Um, but um, yeah, they'll probably be coming after they they've just got back from this one, and they'll probably announce all the changes for the next few cruisers um, while they figure out or oh, they could fix it. You never know. Uh, but yeah, Carnival Vista has having proportion problems again. I'm back to normal colours now. I don't know why my my, my light just had an absolute mare. Um, so Raw Caribbean update. Uh, Icon of the Seas three or Icon Class three, uh, unnamed Icon Class ship has had its kill lane ceremony and they have started building it. Uh, so that's really interesting. And um, Star of the Seas has just been floated out of its dock and it's basically just made way for Icon 3 to start being built. Uh, so yeah, lots of going on in the in Finland where it's been built. We don't know where it's going to go yet. Hopefully, well 2026 Europe is being announced at the end of this month. So you never know, it could be heading to Europe. Probably not. Cause they hate us over here um, <laughs> um but we will find out what um where it will go and probably what the name is going to be later this year i reckon because they're going to have to announce it to stop for bookings hopefully it comes from barcelona because i can't be bothered to fly all the way to um uh, america to try it again to i'm not doing that for star the only thing that would make me go on star is probably back to the future the musical but i don't really care about musicals that much but it'd just be cool i like the film um, I've just got a post over there, and a Lego DeLorean downstairs. Um, so, um, yeah, it's, um, it'd be interesting to see what they do differently, and just, where is it going to go? I reckon it's, so they're obviously doing Port Canaveral, Orlando, and they're doing Miami already. 
maybe they apparently on like a parking thing that icon has gone to Galveston and you can select it but they haven't obviously announced that so will that go there and then the new third one will go to Miami I don't know because obviously in 2025 we have World America so then in Miami so then if they counteract that with their new icon class in 26 they get there's lots of interchanging things um, but I reckon it'll be in, in three main ports in America I haven't I don't think it's it's going to come over here. Literally, the ships have been built, so they're copy and perfect day with Chill Island, Hideaway with the adults only bit. So it's all built for, and now with the news I'm going to say later on, it's going to make even more sense that it's going to go to Galveston. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't reckon any will come to Europe. Maybe we'll have to talk about the fourth and fifth icon before it even starts coming to Europe. Or when they need to do a refurb. They might do something in Europe, but I don't think any time soon Icon Clash ship will be in Europe. I could be wrong, hopefully. Imagine planning your cruise and picking the specific cabin that you want that you've selected, which I've done before, where I've picked, I want that cabin because of this location and like, yeah, have an extra bit of balcony and all that. And a Norwegian telling you the day before your cruise that you can't have that room because they're doing routine maintenance on that selection bit of rooms so yeah, on Norwegian Encore they have announced or they've said to passengers the day before they're saying that they can't have their selected rooms due to them doing maintenance on those rooms which I've never I've never heard that before um, maybe they really needed uh, the maintenance or they're just doing it block by block and keeping up to date with with which some ships should do independence of the seas those those cabins are looking like they have better days they should do block off 20 rooms per cruise and just redo the carpet, the curtains, and just make it look newer again. But that's a complaint me and my family have had on Independence um, ah, for a few years now. Uh, so, yeah, so maybe they're just trying to keep up to date and keep up, up to date with the maintenance of the ship and what the, um, the um, cabins are like. Or maybe they just need, like, the toilet wasn't working and they just needed to fix it, but take the room out of the for the cruise uh we don't i don't know but they've just they've moved people around the ship and to be fair if it was like a guaranteed room it's not the end of the world you may get an upgrade i have no idea it just says they, they've changed rooms um but it, like on like wonder i booked a pacific one just so it has an extra balcony the one in central park if i booked that and they moved me to a different one i would have been slightly annoyed but it's not like world ending but it's just like it's a bit, a bit, be a bit annoying but yeah not the end of the world um they ever said that they're going to be doing anything for the passengers that are being moved but um yeah it would be slightly annoying changing a day before your cruise because you kind of when i do it, i see it, i see it on the, the deck plan and i'm like oh that i go there that's the worst my room is you have to figure out where it is and it's not that difficult is it really um but yeah they have made sense on rooms. I've not heard that one before on Norwegian Encore. And the last bit of news I've got for guys this week is Raw Cabin has announced a new Perfect Day experience. Perfect Day Mexico. Now this is really interesting. Um, hence what I was talking about um, earlier with um, Texas. Galveston, that's it. Um, this is going to be, if you've ever been to Mexico on a cruise, you've probably been to Costa Maya. Cosma or Costa Maya, but Costa Maya, basically that port where it's got the pool, the dolphins, I've actually been there now, it's quite cool to say, um, and it has like a water park, basically Royal Caribbean has brought all of it, well they bought about 200 and something acres, um, and they're going to save like 100 acres for forest and environment, um, and then they, they're building on 100 acres of it, and it currently is a bit double the size of Perfect Day in Coco Cay, um, and it's also can hold four ships. Other ships will be able to go there, so we were there docked with Icon and two Carnival ships. They can go there, but they just can't now use the port from, from when it, it is opened, not immediately right now. Uh, so, yeah, it's really interesting that it's they've just basically bought that whole port. It's really interesting to see how much they change. Are they going to just demolish it and then build what they want? 
Um, this should be open sometime in 2027, so it's, it's 2024, so you have 24, 25, 26, 27. They've got, they've got almost three and a bit years to, to actually build this this place. They Like I said, they've also bought the water park behind it as well. Um, what to expect on this perfect day? So like I said, it's double the size of perfect day in Coco Cay, um, which I've now been to as well. Exciting. Um, so you kind of expect kind of not the same sort of things. They're going to uh, be Mexican food, a water park. Um, they've also said they're going to do adults only area. Basically, anything that is good in Perfect Day will be obviously moved over. That's why it's so popular. But then I would see them adding a few other things. It is double the size, and then you say maybe like the water park will be like double the size because they have to facilitate for four ships in like potentially not four ships are going to be there every single day but potentially they could have four oasis class ships there maybe um and they're gonna have to facilitate for the amount of passengers that could potentially be there in case that may happen or they maybe just be smart and not schedule that many gigantic ships there um but yeah, it'd be really interesting to see what is more announced over the next coming years because they've not announced anything. Uh, they literally just announced that they're going to be doing it. There's going to be a water park, a balloon thing, and an adults only area, and things that from Perfect Day. So that's all we really know that there's going to be. We're going to know that there's going to be copies from Perfect Day. Uh, I would think it'd be really a shame if they just copy and paste the water park. To be honest, when I first saw it, I didn't read anything of it. When I just saw Perfect Day, I thought they were going to build a theme park. Because to compete, they said with Icon of the Seas, they wanted to compete with Disney. Uh, to have a water park on Perfect Day and a theme park or like a, ro- a few roller coasters on Perfect Day Mexico. That, that If they want that experience and they want to compete with Disney and Universal coming out of Orlando, that would be kind of perfect in my opinion. Um, but for people who actually just want a beach and not that then it's not but they're not going to i don't think they're going to do that because i think they would have maybe hinted something um so it's um it really interesting and we will see over the next coming years what they are going to build on perfect day mexico and how much are they going to redo and yeah it's going to be really interesting um really cool but then this also gets on to what Royal Caribbean are doing in the Caribbean. If you want to do the Caribbean, basically with Royal Caribbean, you have Perfect Day Mexico, eventually. You have Perfect Day in Coco Cay, Labadee, so that's three private destinations slash islands. Two of them are like destinations and one's an island. Then you have the new beach club in Nassau, and then you have the new beach club in Cozumel. So you basically have, you could have a seven night cruise where well, you do not leave the Royal Caribbean bubble and stop spending money with them. It's a very smart business from Royal Caribbean. Very, very, very smart uh, what they're doing in the Caribbean. They're basically just like saying, yeah, you can come on, come on here with us, but you don't actually have to leave Royal Caribbean. Even when you get off the ship, you're still with Royal Caribbean. Obviously, people who like to explore the destination still can do short excursions, still can go off by themselves. But that, there is that option if you do like Royal Caribbean and you want a safe beach, then you can, if you if you want, obviously you have to pay extra for the beach clubs. But if you want a safe beach, there is an option for you. We don't know how much they're going to charge yet. It's going to be really interesting to see how much they charge for their beach clubs in Nassau and Cozumel. Um, but we'll see over, like I said, the next couple of years. It's still from 26, 27 and 25, 26, 27, they have beach clubs and islands or destinations opening all over the place. So we will see. Um, what's going on but a very very smart business by Royal Caribbean thank you so much for watching it's been Shipface here put in the comments below what do you think about Perfect Day Mexico and what Royal Caribbean doing around the Caribbean with all these beach clubs and Perfect Day island things um, yeah put in the comments below it would be li- nice to hear what you guys think about it now if you like what I see please press that like button and subscribe to the channel it's very much appreciated and it really does help me out Thank you to my members, Cruising for One, and my dad is very much appreciated and it really has helped me out. If you want to find about all the ship based crew, link in the description below. Definitely go and check that out. I'm also on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. So, link in the description below to go and follow me on those platforms. Thank you so much for watching. It's been Shipface here. I'll see you guys in the next video.